Good morning, I'm Gail Fasahi and welcome to Jobic TV with your news updates. Parliament to convene with new MPs, Speaker and election of President. Court says tellers won't receive fair trial on Jacob Zuma's case. DA to push for public protectors removal. South Africa's sixth Democratic Parliament will convene this morning when 400 members, many of them new, will be officially sworn in by Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng. Mukweng will also preside over the election of the Speaker, followed by a Deputy Speaker. At 2 p.m., Mukweng will then preside over the election of the President of the country. Cyril Ramaphosa will be the President, Tandi Mudise will be elected Speaker, and Lechisa Tsingodi will return as a Deputy. Meanwhile, the DA is set to nominate its own candidates this morning. The French arms firm accused of bribing former President Jacob Zuma said that while it admitted that its application for permanent stay of prosecution was radical and far-reaching, it was also an appropriate and just remedy for the company. Telles wrapped up its arguments in the Peter Meersburg High Court yesterday, arguing that the corruption case against the company be dismissed. On Thursday, the NPA will continue responding to Zuma and Telles' application for permanent stay of prosecution. Public protector Busiwe Mkabani can expect to defend a job when the business of parliament resumes. The DA says the latest court judgment in the Freda Dairy Farm matter once again proves that she's not fit for office and that it will push for her removal. On Monday, the North Gauteng High Court declared Mkabani's report unconstitutional, invalid and set it aside. Mkabani is considering launching a challenge in the High Court or Constitutional Court. Tata Atim Charlie has more with your sports updates. A wacky Wednesday to you, I'm Tato Atimjali with your sports news. Bafana Bafana coach Stuart Baxter has named a squad that is to face Ivory Coast in the AFCON 2019 qualifying campaign, which will be held in Egypt. Baxter yesterday named a squad and during his press conference, he opened up on some disturbing news he had received ahead of South Africa's trip to Libya in their final qualifying match back in March. He said doctors had thought that he had cancer and he did not want to test before the game, which was played in Tunisia due to not wanting distractions. But all is clear with his health. The squad that will kickstart the campaign on the 25th of June in Cairo are Owen Williams, Ramachwem Patele, Shompokekana, and Spusiso Vilagazi, just to name a few. Still on soccer, Supersports United CEO Stan Matthews has revealed that midfielder Deboa Mukwena will soon jet off to France for a trial with an, with an unnamed club. The 22-year-old developed into a consistent performer for Matatanza, having made his first team debut under Stuart Baxter in 2017. His progress this season under coach Gaito Tembo has sparked interest from abroad, but Matthews insists that interested clubs will have to trigger the player's release clause if they have if they hope to secure his services. And lastly, yesterday, World Rugby introduced a campaign to grow women's rugby right around the world. With more than 2.7 million players in women's rugby, the player base makes up a quarter of all players worldwide, and it continues to grow at a fast pace with a 28% increase in women's playing the sport since 2017. The hashtag Try and Stop Us campaign will look to further raise those numbers, as well as increase participation and engagement around fans and other parties involved in the sports. That's all from the Sports Disc. Catch your next Sports Bulletin midday. Goodbye. Now time for your traffic and weather updates. And now let's take a look at your traffic and weather updates. Jimmy Stan on the N17, there is an accident after the Rondebal Road exit causing queue in traffic. Four ways on Vetkopen Road, there is an obstruction causing queue in traffic towards Monte Casino Boulevard. And again in four ways on the N1, there is a congestion causing queue in traffic between Rivonia Road and the William Nickel Drive exit. And now to your weather updates, Joburg CBD is at a high of 22 degrees Celsius. Midrand is also sunny at a high of 22 degrees Celsius. And Centen is also at a high of 22 degrees Celsius. Back to the news desk. And that's it for me and the rest of the Joburg TV team. Catch your next bulletin at midday. Goodbye.